What's up guys, Matt Mastro from The Muscle Blueprint. Today we're going to go through a bunch of the different exercises that you can do just with one of these little bands. So many things that we're able to do just by owning one of these. You can get one on Amazon for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Very much worth the investment. I like the ones that have the handles on the ends of them. They come in all different types of resistance. You can get really heavy ones or really light ones. And of course, this one right here is about a happy medium, maybe a little bit heavier, but pretty good. So a lot of exercises that you can do just by having a resistance band. So let's walk through a couple of them so I can show you guys how you can get jacked from your own house. You can get jacked, shredded, cut, get those muscles you've been looking for for a long time, just with one of these guys. So first ones we'll go through are the basic ones, a couple of my favorites. So first thing you want to do is a lateral raise. Which is going to be bringing your arms out to the side like you're making a big T. I step right in the middle of the band and I want to raise my arms up just to about shoulder length, just about this high up, or shoulder height, excuse me. So I'm going up right around the shoulder height. If you want to go a little higher, that's okay. I wouldn't recommend going much higher than that because then you're kind of defeating the purpose of the muscle and using more of the joint to bring the arms that high up. So you only really want to go to here. You can do pulses from here. These are pulses, these little movements, which really gets a nice burn into your shoulders. Or if your band is a little heavy, it's okay to bend forward just a little bit. I like to bend forward slightly when I do these heavy. And I'm going to do three quarter reps. So I can't go all the way up because my band is heavy, but I'll go three quarters of the way up and then not fully down, but I'm keeping everything right in this little range of motion. The time under tension will make your shoulders feel like they're on fire. So right in there, small movements, nice and controlled. I'm not going super fast like I'm trying to fly and I'm not going super slow where I can't move. It's right in the middle, nice and controlled, thinking and focused on those shoulders growing that nice whoosh, rounded cap. So that's your lateral raise. From the same position for shoulders, you can do a front raise. You could choose to do one arm or two. One arm or both arms. I like to do these with my knuckles out, like I'm throwing a punch. But you can flip it over sometimes as well. When I flip my hand over and I'm palm up, I go across my body a little bit and I keep my arm nice and straight. That's how I prefer to do these. Get a nice burn on the front part of your shoulder. Out, out, up, boom, just like that. Front raises are a great way to get your shoulders and arms nice and toned up as well. Do it with the both arms. So many different ways. If your band is too heavy and you can't get the arms up to shoulder height again, something that I prefer, same thing you can do with lateral raises as well. If you take one of your feet off of the rope, now your band is a little bit less resistance. You have a little bit more flexibility in the band. Now you only have one foot on there. So it makes it a little bit easier. Something else you can do, if you let your band go and you loosen it up and you step on one side much more aggressively, I'm going to back up so you can see my rope here, my resistance band. So I'm going to put it on the floor. Normally I step right in the middle, right? I try to keep them nice and even. But now I'm going to take one foot and I'm going to step over to one side so I can work my right arm with a lot less resistance, right? I have a lot more room to work with now. A lot less pulling me down. And if that's still too heavy, you can take another little step over and it gets a little bit lighter. There's a lot of different ways you could use these and get creative. Same idea if your band is too light. Now I think about it this way, step over to the other side, and now my resistance is a lot heavier. And see how I just moved my feet in there in the, uh, on the resistance band from the middle to one of the sides. Boom, a whole lot heavier. 
for all movements. Same thing for a front raise, same thing for a bicep curl. A lot of different ways you can use these, no matter what the resistance is. So next, obviously make sure you don't snap the band. If it's getting close to that point, then you need a different band. So next one we can do is a band pull apart. This is great for the back of your shoulders, your rear delts. That's that round part back here. Very hard to hit, and when you do hit it, it will look awesome. It looks so much better when you're on the beach. It looks good when you're naked, all these good things. So what you can do, bend your band in half. This is one way to do it, the heavier way. Bend your band in half, and all you're going to do is take it and pull it apart. Just like we said, just like it's called, a band pull apart. Pull it apart, lock that back, bring it back in. Pull it apart, lock it back, bring it back in. If that's too heavy, same idea. You can let the band go a little bit. I still need to grab it a little closer to the middle because it's gonna dangle and it's probably gonna smack you a little bit, but who cares, it doesn't hurt. And now you'll be able to pull it apart even further and get a better stretch. Pull it apart, less resistance. Keep a nice tight grip so you don't let it go. Pulling it apart. Again, this is a good one you can do little movements on as well. These little movements work. Little, little, small movements. They work great that way as well. So that is for your rear delts. Another really fun workout you can do. Another one we're gonna throw in there now too is our bicep curl. Bicep curls are nice and simple. If you're gonna use a band that is the right weight, I step right in the middle again. So I have the same resistance on both sides. A couple different ways to do your bicep curls. One way is to keep your elbows tucked in right across, right against your body. And now when you curl up, you try to keep your elbows nice and still. So it's all in the bicep. Nice and still, all in the bicep. Another way that you can hit your biceps, where you can hit your, the top of your bicep, that little peak, whoosh, makes it go up like that, would be to take your elbows now, and you're gonna put them kind of in front of your body when you do your curl. So now you see how my elbows left my body, and it's in front of me now. And I'm curling a little higher now, I'm kind of curling towards my mouth or my nose. Boop, right in the nose. My elbows left my body now. I'm hitting the top part of my bicep, the short head. Sometimes I like to curl normal, straight up. Sometimes I go across the body again. It's a nice way to get a nice extra part of that pump. Across the body, get a little extra pump in there. And last way that you can do your bicep curls, one, you can exaggerate that and go to your forehead, or two, you can tuck your elbows behind you a little bit, not too far back where I look ridiculous, but a little bit behind me. And now I'm doing these shorter movements from here. This hits the longer head of your bicep. This would be called a drag curl if you were using a barbell, dragging the weight. Same idea for biceps, if it's too heavy for you, your band, same thing where you take your step off and you can step to one side and make it lighter or heavier. Same idea. You could also curl out this way, a little less comfortable, or more strain on the shoulder. That's more for an advanced lifter. No need for it though, you really don't need to do any of that. So that's your bicep curl, is a great workout that you can do to hit your arms. Another workout we're going to walk into now, your shoulder press. You gotta make sure your band has enough elastic elasticity to stretch over your head for these. So this one, the first thing I would do is step on with one foot right in the middle to make sure that my band has enough of the stretch to go over my head. Since it feels like it does, I'll take my second foot, I'll make sure I'm centered. And I like to use one arm at a time when I do these, but you could do this either way. Now I'm going to just raise my arm up. The band is in front of me. Or I could raise my arm up like I'm doing a bicep curl, and now the band is behind me. Either way, it's going to the same place. And I go right overhead, my bicep pretty much hits myself in the ear. I'm doing a nice 
shoulder press. Another great arm shoulder workout here. Get that roundness. If you want to do both arms at the same time, that's fine as well. Both arms, same time. Try to reach up to the ceiling, keeping that constant tension by not going all the way down, but I keep it right in this little range of motion right here, up and down, just like that. From this same position, you can do your squats. Super important exercise. Now I know you're thinking, that's not that much resistance. You will feel it. So I'm standing right in the middle of my band still. My hands, I'm holding the band up to my side. When I squat down, I lose the resistance. When I rise up, I get some good resistance back. It's not a crazy amount, but it's just enough to make this a harder workout. No resistance, boom. If you want to make this a two-part workout, I would go down and go up overhead. Down, up overhead. Squat down, up overhead. These are good for your narrow squats, which will hit your quads and your glutes, and good for your shoulders if you're going to reach overhead like that. So, it's a good one. Again, if you want to make it harder, go into your real squat position, feet a little wider. Now I have a little more resistance, I can feel it already. Down, up. Got way more resistance now. Might not even be able to get these overhead. It's a little harder. So it's a good way to do squats using your resistance band. Nice exercise there. Let's walk into another exercise that we can do using our bands. This is a tricep pushback. So these, you gotta get creative with. Again, I'm gonna bend my band just in half like this. I'm gonna take it from one end, the non-handle end for me. I'm gonna put myself in this position like I'm about to go for a run, in a running position. Stretch one arm out in front. So now I'm just kind of holding the band. Like I'm gonna shoot a bow and arrow, right? I'm a little lower though. Instead of pulling it up, I'm pulling it this way. My pinky is going up towards the ceiling. I'm extending my arm. It's called a tricep pushback or a tricep extension. See how I'm pushing it back. Right, I'm just holding the band in front and pulling it backwards. Nothing crazy there, there's no crazy movement. Just holding it, and pulling it. You can even hold it against your body, make it even smaller. The more you hold it out front, the more room you have to move it, the more resistance you're giving yourself, the harder you can make it. Great for the back of your arms, your triceps, the biggest muscle on your arms, so don't neglect them. Same thing, I can switch sides, switch sides. Great tricep workout right there. Feel that, I feel it already. If you want another tricep workout, another one you gotta make sure your band is elastic enough, has enough stretch. I'm gonna step on my band and put it over my head like I was doing for the shoulder press. And now, with my palm to my ear, it's kind of an overhead extension, these are called. See these done in the gym a lot with dumbbells. You could do the same workout with a resistance band. Up overhead, full extension, back down. Make sure your shoulder is good, holding a nice and strong muscle there. Whew, pretty good. Switch sides, same thing, I'm gonna put it behind me for these. I want the band behind me. I'm reaching up, right overhead, flexing at the top. That is pretty much the same exact movement as the tricep pushback, just done a little bit differently. 